I'm Jeannie Be Delicious. And today we're going to be making a bunt cake, a lemon bunt cake, using one of another one of our free cookwares. It's a bunt cake pan from Boxiki. I think it's going to be cool to cook with this pan today because see how squishy the bottom is, so it should come out really super easy. Um, we're still going to put some spray on the inside to prevent it from sticking too much. So obviously you can tell I'm in a new kitchen. I finally got moved into my new apartment. I have a roommate. I had a, a lady at work. She was a single mom with a kid sleeping on someone's couch. I rented a place with three bedrooms. And so this lovely place that I have now uh, for fairly cheap, cheap rent. So the first ingredients that we're going to be using for this lemon bun cake is a Duncan Hines uh, Lemon Supreme Moist Cake. But I've got a twist because I'm going to add a little bit more stuff to it. Of course it calls for three eggs, some water, and some oil. Of course that's a given. But I'm going to add some real lemon zest with some lemons and some lemon juice. And instead of using oil, I'm going to use butter. And instead of using water, I'm going to make half water and hot half buttermilk. And then a couple tablespoons of sour cream. But it calls for one third cup of oil. Um, that is equal to, this is a fourth, so a third is bigger than a fourth. So we'll just do uh, one cube and a half. Or maybe we'll just put two cubes in. Just call it two cubes. They can't make it too bad, right? And then some lemon zest. I have a zester here. So I'm just mixing kind of the, the wetter ingredients together first. So zest from about three lemons. So I was thinking about some of the comments that have been left on my YouTube channel lately. And you know, there's always haters no matter where you're at. They're either jealous or they're unhappy with themselves or they have nothing better to do than complain. So I kind of thought about that philosophy of how people are. At the end of the day, what do you want to be remembered for? Do you want to be remembered for being an asshole that nobody likes? And, or do you want to be remembered for being a good person that you know most people like? And you know, So you're the one that has to live with yourself. And unfortunately, you try to victimize others with your abusive natures. I don't stand for abuse, and I allow you to leave those comments on my YouTube because it is America, and we have freedom of speech. But just something to consider for yourself. So after those three lemons, that's how much zest looks like. I was just zest from three different lemons, which is the outside peeling. And then I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in it. So I've got this lemon that I'm going to cut in half. So just going to squeeze. So like my producer, I, somebody commented on my camera shots. So here's some boobies for you. Uh, try not to get the seeds in there. Whoops, just like I did just now. So I really want this to be lemony, so I'm like going to squeeze a bunch of lemon juice in here. So I'm squeezing one whole lemon in there. Yumminess. So I'm just going to take a one cup measuring cup um, and add about half of that with buttermilk. So I'm just going to put a scoop of um, sour cream in there, well, a couple scoops maybe, just a little bit. So then I'm just going to fill the rest of this up with some water, yeah, to make one cup. Alright, and oh, we've got eggs. I'm going to add a little extra vanilla because I think it'll be amazing. I'm just going to shake it up. This one's pure vanilla. Now all the ingredients that I bought today came from Wally World. I just used the lid to measure. I figure it's about a half a teaspoon. So with all the ingredients that are in there now, we got butter, sour cream, buttermilk, water, eggs, vanilla, and lemon zest so far. And I'm one of those people that fortunately don't have a uh, mixer, so I'm going to use uh, this thing, a handheld blender. So now 
I'm just gonna slowly add that cake mix, right? And I'm just gonna slowly add the cake mix and stir it in. And it smells yummy like Duncan Hines normally does. I was gonna make it by hand today, but I didn't wanna have to buy all those ingredients. I mean, really, it's only flour and sugar extra, I guess. But, and baking soda and baking powder. So I'm just gonna mix it up until it's all smooth as it can be, but there's butter in there, so it's not gonna be that smooth. So, it looks like cake mix with a little lumpiness because of the butter. So I'm just gonna take some of my artificial, whatever this stuff is, non-stick spray, and spray the pan really well. Or naturally non-stick, the boxy heat anyway. Okay. So I coated this really well with a the <laughs> non-stick spray. <coughs> I can taste the butter in the air. Okay, and our oven is set at, because this is not a metal pan, it's set at 325. And then we're just gonna stick this in there and of course we're gonna test it with a fork or something to see if uh, it's ready. So I'm just gonna scoop this into this uh, bunt cake carefully. All right, so that's what it looks like before it's been baked. And we're just gonna stick it in the oven for about maybe 30 minutes. We'll smell it. You can always tell when it's done because you can smell it. If it smells too bad, it's probably burning. Which my nose has failed me a few other times. And now we just wait. So while the bundt cake is cooking, we're gonna make a, a glaze that goes over and just makes it kind of crispy on the outside. And then we'll make a, like a, a cream cheese frosting to go drizzle over the top of it. But this is really simple, it's just sugar. And so, I'm going to use like a third of a cup of sugar and this is raw sugar and I'm just going to cook it down. It's just a sugar glow, like a syrup and then I'm just going to squeeze that lemon juice in there. And a little bit more lemon zest, just a little. And then one of these little butters is like equal to a fourth of a cup, so a fourth of a cup of butter. And then we're just going to turn that on to about six on the stove, which I think is like, I don't know. And I got a little wooden spoon and stir it up. So we've got the lemon juice, the sugar, and the butter. And you can make syrups this way too. We'll just cook that till it comes to a rolling boil, rolling boil, and that's it. Okay, so it's at a rolling boil. You can see how it's changed colors. It's a little thicker. So the lemon bundt cake is ready. And I have stuck a knife in it, and it came out clean. Look at how pretty that is right now. I'm just going to let it sit for a second or so. Let it cool for a minute and then we'll plate it by sticking a plate upside down on it. So then you just go like this and look at how pretty that is. Really easy, didn't have to use any flour in the bottom of this pan. Look at how clean that came out. Look at how clean this abundant pan came out. That's boxy key. Boxy key is amazing pans. And we're just gonna take one of these dilly bobbers and just go over the top of the cake with it. Try to coat it all. Now you'd want to normally put this on a wire rack, I guess, but this works too. Here we go, that looks pretty. So we're just gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it cool. 
We've got cream cheese. I'm just going to use a couple tablespoons. We've got our butter. That's really melty. Now you can add more powdered sugar or less powdered sugar as needed. I only need a little bit because it's a small cake. And we'll just put a touch of vanilla in it. This is when a mixer would be really handy. If anybody wants to send me one, go ahead. I'll debut it on my show. I've never been much of a decorator. I don't know how people make those little pretty pie crust things or anything. Lemony dessertius. And then we'll just try a little bit. How's that sound? All right, now is for the taste test. So we got the lemon cake with our extra added ingredients. It's very moist, I can already tell you that because I can smell it. It's very lemony smelling. Yep, it's the bomb. Best lemon cake ever. Especially if you don't want to make it from scratch. And that glaze that we put on is a little extra crispy on the outside, especially if you let it cool before you put the icing on it. It'll crisp up the outside edge. So try this recipe, because it's amazing. You'd be impressed. All right, so like I always want you to do, I want you to subscribe, like my channel, leave a comment down below, go on Facebook, say hello, send me your ideas. Okay, so to order your own boxiki pans, click in the link in the description below. Awesome pans, never had anything ter terrible turn out of it. I've only cooked something terrible before. And as always, join us next time for another great recipe on Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye, y'all.